Hi everyone, today we're just going to review how to factor things and by factoring I'm talking about the kind of factoring uh, that you've learned to do so far over the coming weeks we'll talk about actually a bunch of different ways of factoring but uh, we're talking about um, simple factoring or common factoring And um, when we're talking about factoring or common factoring, usually um, I'm making up a word here, but we're talking about undistributing or unmultiplying something. Uh, for example, you, uh, you remember distributing, that's just how you multiply um, a monomial or one, one term times more than one term, right? So if I had this, you would say, well, um, if I expanded that or multiplied that or distributed that, uh, a whole bunch of ways to say the same thing. That would work out to 3x squared plus 6xy, right? So going from there to there, like I said, has a bunch of different words. Uh, distributing or multiplying. Or perhaps expanding. All these words mean the same thing. Going the other direction, going from this expression to breaking it up into two things that multiply to each other. Two things that multiply to each other we call factors. So bringing, uh, breaking something into its factors is what we call factoring. So that means when you are given an expression, for example, uh, 10x plus 15xy, you're going to look at that expression, you're going to say, hmm, are there any common factors? Is there anything that could be divided out of both of these terms? Uh, and what's the biggest term that could be divided out of both of these terms? Well, we've got 10x here, we've got 15xy. Looking at the coefficients, the 10 and the 15, we would say, well, the, I think the biggest number or the biggest coefficient that can be divided out of both uh, would be 5, and we would look at maybe the variables here and say, there's, hey, there's an x here and an xy here. I would say that they have an x in common, right? And so factoring, because it's unmultiplying, really means you're kind of dividing something out of everything. So what we're really doing here is we're taking all of our terms and we're dividing out that common factor. The common factor then lives here in the front, and we say in the brackets, well, what would be left if we took divided out the 5x out of both those things? Well, uh, 10x divided by 5x is, of course, uh, 2. And uh, 15xy divided by 5x, well, 15 divided by 5 is 3. And xy divided by x, the x's cancel, and I'm left with y. So, and I could always, of course, check my answer. I could go back and uh, redistribute the 5x into the 2 and the 3y, and if I end up with the same expression that I started with, well then I've done it correctly. So here we have the factored form of this expression, here we have the multiplied out form or the simplified form of the same expression. So then a couple uh, expressions. Um, if you see them and you were instructed to do, the, do them, the, the instruction just in your textbook or on a test would be factor. Right? And so you'd always look first to see if the type of factoring that you can do is common factoring. Okay? So for example, 8a squared plus 6ab. We look at those two terms. It's just a uh, binomial, 8a squared and 6ab. And we say to ourselves, self, what is the greatest common factor between 8a squared and 6ab? We can look at the coefficients first and we say, well, the greatest common factor between 8 and 6 is, of course, 2. The greatest, co uh, the greatest common factor between a squared and ab uh, would just be an a. And when I divide out 2a from 8a squared, I'm left with 4a. When I divide 2a out of 6ab, um, right, this dividing that I'm doing right here, I, you can write it in if you need to. I'm just doing it now to teach you. So divided by 2a, I'm left with uh, plus 3b. So there's my factored, um, my factored expression. Another example here. 6m squared n plus 3mn squared minus 9mn equals. All right, so here we get a trinomial, three terms. And let's see, what do I have in factor, or what do I have in common, sorry, of all my coefficients, 6, 3, and 9? Well, the greatest common factor is, of course, 3. Um, the greatest common factor between 
Uh, well, I can look at all the m variables between m squared, m, and m is m. Greatest common factor between n, n squared, and n is n. And so out of all three, I'm going to divide each one by 3mn to see what ends up in the brackets. Um, and I'm not going to write it in. The first one divided by 3m n gives me 2m. The second one divided by 3m n just leaves me, I think, with 1n. And the third one, I think, just leaves me with a 3. A couple more examples. So I hope uh, as we're doing these, maybe you'll back up, write the example, just the question down, see if you can get the right answer um, on your own, and then check it. That would be a, um, one good strategy to actually try and learn these or learn how to do these or check to know that you know how to do these. Uh, one more example, 20x cubed y squared plus 5x squared minus 15x squared y. Okay, so another trinomial. Greatest common factor between 25 and 15, I would say is 5. Looking at all the x's, um, they all have at least an x squared. So I think x squared is the greatest common uh, factor for my variable x. Greatest common factor for my variable y. Well, let's see, there's y squared here. There's a y here, but there's no y in this one. So y is not a common factor. So all I have is 5x squared to take out of all three. Um, and let's see, I've got to divide this out by 5x squared. I'll just again do this uh, just to show what I'm doing. 20 divided by 5 is 4. I'm left with 1x and the y squared. When I divide the middle term out by 5x squared, this is a little bit tricky. Some students say there's nothing there, but uh, most people know that 5x squared divided by 5x squared is definitely something. It's definitely 1. Uh, and the last one, of course, uh, 5x squared, div or when divided out of minus 15x squared y, I think I just have a minus 3y. So that's a quick review of common factoring. Um, this is just something you have to be able to do uh, very quickly. It's something you have to do consistently. It's something that you have to spot that needs doing right away. Because as I mentioned, uh, over the next few weeks, you'll be learning um, a bunch of different kind of factoring. And uh, common factoring, if done correctly and done right away, you'll find makes a problem go a lot easier. All right, enjoy.